Hello, this is me, Bitpocketer, again with the tutorial, and this time we're going to consider something different uh, from those we did we did in uh, our last few uh, sessions. In last few sessions, we talked about computer organization, computer structure, and operating system. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about three-level architecture, and this architecture is neither about operating system nor it is all about computer organization. Instead. This three-level architecture is uh, uh, the architecture of DBMS or database management system and this three-level architecture provides the basis for, of the understanding for the basic functionalities of DBMS. So let us find out what uh, are the three levels or what are those levels which constitutes the three-level architecture. So first of all we have external level, then we have ex uh, conceptual level and internal level. What are those levels and what they got to do with the database management functionalities? We're going to consider them by one by one. So in order to understand, let us move forward for the diagram. Here you can see the diagram that it consists of uh, external level, conceptual level, internal level and physical data organization. The external level takes the user and their views. User 1 has its own view, user 2 has his own view and user n his own view. And down below the external level, we have the conceptual level, internal, uh, and down below the conceptual level, we have been given internal level. So what is external level? Let us find out. After understanding the ex uh, external level, conceptual level, and internal level, we will move back to this diagram and we'll consider that again after having the full understanding of uh, uh, all these three levels. So what is external level? External level is actually the way in which a user perceives the data. The external level consists of number of different views of database. Let us, uh, if you do not understand that, let me give you an example. For example, you have uh, a Facebook account and I do have a Facebook account as well. Now both of us have a Facebook account but my view is a bit different than yours because I might have selected the or I might have chosen the timeline features but you haven't yet. So if I log into my own account, I will uh, be presented with a different view of my data and you will be presented with different view of your data. This means that we are accessing the same database but the view that we have chosen for ourselves or the customized for ourselves are vary from user to user. Okay. Each user has a view of his own real world presented in a form of user is familiar with. That's what I just told you about. And an external view, only those entities, attributes and relationships are presented to the user in which user is interested in. Quite like, uh, quite same to the example I just gave you. For example, you have, again, you have an account or Facebook and you have liked some certain features on the Facebook like pages, groups and so many things out there. But only those things will be presented to you which you are interested in rather than those things which you are not interested in. It does not mean that those things which you are not interested in does not or do not exist in database. They do exist but they are not presented to you and you are not aware of that. So uh, other entities you get as, I, as consider this one like consider this one other entities attributes and relationships which user is not interested in may do exist in database but user won't be aware of that. It's just like the example I give you about regarding the Facebook that uh, you are interested in some sort of groups, pages and uh, uh, so many things out there uh, only those uh, only news feeds of those pages and groups will be not uh, will be uh, you will only be, you will only be notified about the news feeds of those pages and groups which you have been subscribed to. Uh, and you will not be notified about the news feeds of the pages and the groups which you have not been subscribed to as well. So a different view may have different representation of the same data. But what do we mean by that? For example, uh, you have, uh, uh, for example, you are an employee of the organization, and you want to access the database and you want to see the date. And I am also the employee of the same organization uh, you are. And I also want to see the date, the current date. Since you want to see the date within the format like month, year and date. And I want to see the date in the format of date, month, year. Since the date is same, but the way the date, uh, the date is represented to both of us is different. This means the date is same, but it has different representation of the same data. So external level, 
is all about customizing customization of the view of the users uh, these are some examples uh, which I also talked about or which I already talked about so, and some you might include derivable or calculated data whenever needed what do we mean by that for example it is not likely to be a good practice to store uh, ages of the employees rather than it is a good practice to store the date of birth of the employees whenever the ages of the employees are desired to be found it's easy to calculate the ages from there uh, it's easy to calculate their ages from uh, their date of birth now let us con talk about conceptual level well conceptual level contains the logical structure of the entire databasing by a database administration is a complete view of the data requirements of uh, an organization the conceptual level represents all entities their attributes and their relationships constraints on data security and integrity information it supports each external view in that any data is available to a user that must be contained and or derivable from the conceptual level it does not contain any storage details the community view of the database this level describes what data is stored and database and relationships among that data conceptual level conceptual level is actually the community view of the database which actually describes what data is stored in the database and what are the relationships among the data items conceptual level it is actually the way in which the data is stored and interrelated and the data items are interrelated with each other and it represents uh, many things like uh, some several things like constraints on data security and integrity information all entities and their attributes are relationships after conceptual level we're going to switch to internal level internal level is the way in which dbms and operating system perceive the data it's a logical not a logical but it's a, a physical implementation of the it's a physical implementation of the dbms to attain or to achieve the optimal runtime performance and internal level is concerned with uh, several things like storage space allocation for the storage of data record description for storage record placement file encryption and compression um, techniques internal level interfaces with operating system access methods such as file management techniques storing and retrieval of data items or data records now as we talked about uh, the um, uh, external level, internal level and conceptual level, let us uh, get back to the diagram and the objective of this three level architecture. The objective of three level architecture is to separate each user's view of database from the way database is physically stored, while the separation is desirable. This separation is desirable because we say that each user should be act, uh, able to access the same data but to have an, a different customized view of the data. Each user should be able to customize the view of data without affecting other users. The internal structure of the data should not be subjected to the change by changes made to the physical aspect of storage. The database administration should be able to administrator should be able to change the conceptual structure of data without affecting users. These are following objectives. And now consider the diagram. The conceptual level actually takes your data and stores in a logical fashion and actually it defines the way in which data items are interrelated with each other. Internal level actually is a, a physical implementation of your database to achieve runtime optimal uh, performance to, uh, to, uh, or to attain the optimal runtime performance. The internal level uh, covers or the internal level uh, covers the data structures and file organization it actually is the as it is a physical representation so it is not the user is normally not concerned with internal schema of the uh, structure okay and this is a conceptual level internal schema internal schema you might say that internal schema is the way the records on the hard drive or the storage device is interrelated or located or placed on the data storage device 
and it is uh, it interfaces with operating system uh, access methods such as file management and file organization techniques record and retrieval and placement of the records and external view as i also talked about that well if that's not helpful give us a feedback i would like to make it more helpful for you guys thank you for watching